Alright, welcome back everybody. This is the Benjinator and you're watching Let's Play Xenogears. So the last time we had some, uh... We saw some heartbreaking news about Billy's past. Um, and now we've actually been commissioned to essentially save a ship from what are known as the Wells of the Reapers. Um, and so we've, uh, we've sort of been auto-brought, auto-scrolled, auto-whatever, to the Reaper ship. And now we're going to be trying to save it from Calamity. So I think that we should... Yeah, so this is, this is going to be an interesting part of the game. If I remember, it's fairly unique. Sometimes it's a little hard to navigate, but I think it should be... I think it should be okay. Ah, the wells, yes. <laughs> well, if you haven't figured that out by this point, I feel sorry for you, son. Oh, okay. Got it, okay. So, I, I, if I recall, turning on the lights is not 100% necessary, but it does definitely help. And you can, there, there's a lot of maneuverables around here. Uh, fortunately, there's not too many treasure chests, although you just saw one at the south end of the screen there. So, these guys. Alright, so now we get to have some fun with Billy. Billy boy. Gonna try out some of these death blows. So I'll have to check uh, off screen just kind of how far we are going as far as the death blows. But fortunately with C10, as you can see, we're pretty good. Made sure to pack up on armor. All right, so let's try it. Let's use some Gunaholic. Because the, all these death blows are actually really, really fun to watch. So he's got like the shotgun. Okay, that didn't do any damage, obviously. But um, yeah, these enemies, I believe, have kind of like a weird thing going on. So, hey, we still gotta learn this this uh, this baby for Rico. So, that's gonna take a while. Yeah, the thing about um, yeah, the thing about the thing about guns in this game is for some reason uh, it really depends which what um, what techniques you use because sometimes certain guns will do damage and certain guns will not, which makes ooh, there we go that polygonal uh, <laughs> polygonal chainsaw right there. So. So you could actually just do this. Okay, yeah, that's not going to do anything. I'm trying to figure out which guns will... Okay, apparently the square gun will actually do something, but the rest of it won't, so... So sometimes death blows will have an effect, and as you can see, we got we got some new ammo right there. Um, let me just actually go to the screen to show you how this works, because I believe that with Billy it's a little bit different. Um, so the gun's fine. Two... I'm trying to remember exactly. All right, so let's check out the death blows first of all. That's something we do know. So we got we got not crack. So he's got the triple triangle X combo. Um, yeah, C10 as we've established, he's just not at that level where as soon as he hits a certain level, and I think it's like 42 or something like that, he's gonna learn Hagai and Ugoi. And uh, well, we still have a long ways to go with Rico Benderas, but that's why we equipped him. All right, so let's. Uh, yeah, that's Omega Soul. I'm trying to remember exactly how you are supposed to. Oh, yeah, he's got some pretty good abilities, too. So these are actually going to be super useful. He's all status effects, restores HP, restores everybody's HP. This is incredibly useful. Speed up, defense up. I hardly ever use those, but anyway. So don't worry about the ammunition for the time being. We can take care of We can knock those over. Penguin Coat, which we got stocked up plenty of before uh, this particular dungeon, if you recall. We went aboard the Thames, we got that. So, this dungeon is kind of peculiar in the sense that you do, like, you're kind of crawling up and down these little ledges right here. And, uh, let's see, we've got sacks of meat. Oh, look, there's another treasure chest. Oh, yeah, we gotta, we gotta remember how to equip that damn ammo. And so, supposedly these, uh, Survival Tent. Got plenty of those. Uh, is there a switch around here? Oh, I think so. There we are. Yay! We opened the door lock. Let's make things a little bit easier. And uh, there, of course, is a save point. Let's see if we got new en new enemies. And we don't, but that's okay. We can show this battle one more time. So I think we're... Oh, yeah. Might as well just use the death blows with C-Tan. I should remember that. Um, uh, let's see. What do we got? Hellblast. Why not? Let's see if this does any damage. Because we know the square one does. Yeah! Alright, there we are. So 
So Hellblast works on the abandons, apparently. And if you didn't have the penguin coats, penguin coats, these guys would do a hell of a lot more damage. So something to be keenly aware of. Uh, but anyway, as you, the thing about Rico Bandera is what makes it really fun is that with every death blow you get with him, you get like a, a cool ass wrestling move, which I very much appreciate. As someone who used to watch pro wrestling as a kid, I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, look at that. Look at that. Just use the ranking all day, every day, against these assholes, and we've won, once again. Alright. So, I'm gonna be right back, you guys. I just wanna make sure to show you how to properly equip ammo. Okay, guys, it was actually very easy. You go to his gun, and you can just equip the ammo this way. So we can change that out for that. And these all come in, like, different sets, so you're basically, like... You know, essentially re replacing one diminished clip with a new one, with a with a higher attack value. So, it's not something that you actually have to micromanage a ton, which is kind of fun. Because uh, I recall in this game, okay, are we? <laughs> did we did we relock the door? I feel like we did. Right, let's try this baby again. Okay, so maybe maybe you just can't. Uh, open this door. I think maybe we uh, happen to unlock a different door over there, so we'll see. Yeah, I think we might have opened a door over here. So this this should ostensibly be doing a ton of damage to us, but you know what? That's what we got the Omega Souls for, right? Okay, maybe not, maybe not so bad. So the thing about the ammo in this game is it does definitely increase your attack power, but it, it is not a critical component of this game. Especially since later on, you'll be fighting primarily in gears, and even though, uh, as you'll see, Billy's gear does have, does consume ammo, it's a different type of ammo. Ah, oh, okay, so we got a new enemy. Sweet. These are some wells, ladies and gentlemen. These are the real deal. These are the guys that were, that Billy's trying to actually get rid of. But, they're not really that hard. They're basically just walking, talking zombies. They die pretty easily, and, uh... They actually, th 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 these attacks will actually do some gun damage now, so. Which is, Gunaholic is probably one of my favorites. And, uh, the guys will do some, ooh, decent damage. Yikes. It's a good thing Billy has all of those nice healing spells, huh? So now we got Rankin, and he's gonna be doing his Satan Uzuki thing. Yes, yes, yes. In your face. And... This is going to be enough for Rico Banderas, the ass-kickingly wrestler of all time. So, it's actually kind of a relief to have enemies that are fairly easy for once, because in, in, in previous dungeons it seems like that's been kind of a rarity, so... Okay, let's see, Look, get ourselves a good angle. Oh, these are, these are not even full rooms. Okay, so that's the cabin key that lets us ostensibly in a cabin somewhere in the future. This leads us to nothing. Um, I'm gonna scour, scour, scour. I believe the cabin is at the end over there, so. Uh, silver beret. Can't climb up that ladder. Let's see what the silver beret does, shall we? I feel like Mr. Uzuki could be wearing something like that. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Or is that a, uh... What is that? Huh. Oh, well, well. Let's check. Okay, may maybe uh, one of the female members of the female persuasion in our party can wear it or something like that. I don't know. Berets? I think berets are gender neutral. I've seen many, uh, many a man wear a beret and can pull it off pretty well. So, checking in, checking out all the bunks. All the bunks indeed. And uh, we've got another treasure chest. Shot, ooh, we got some shotgun ammo, so let's uh, put that on Mr. Billy, shall we? All right, do it, do 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 do. Yep, increases, 100 more shots, see? Every one of those little packs you get, every item, has like a decent amount of ammo, so. Yep, let's unlock it. What? It's rusted shut. Oh no. Oh, that's, oh, maybe, uh... Ah. Uh, so, yeah, you have to run into it. I remember this. Okay. So, this is, uh, you gotta get a running start, and... Come on! What is this? 
Come on. Rico, we need you. All right, there we go. That's like the that's like the dumbest thing ever, but <laughs> it really is uh, something that happens. <laughs> Running into a door. Holy shnikey. Looks like Billy took a beating in the last battle, actually. Okay, so the door won't go open here, but... Uh, where does this door lead? Not nowhere? Okay. It's okay if that door won't open, because we can always climb up here and uh, proceed to cross the terrible ravine into uh, what is going to be our next area. So, uh, we've basically reached the end of the ship. We're going to figure out what the wells are doing. What are the wells doing? Find out in the next episode of Let's Play Xenogears. This is the Benjinator, and I'll see you guys later.